Hello everybody, welcome back to Rain and Pause. I am Mitch and today I am working on some cloud floor mixes. So please excuse my very messy workbench. Um, I've just been spending the last couple of days mixing paint and you know, just uh, trying some new things. So today I want to try some cloud pour mixes and these come from Tiffany Bergeron from Willy B Studios and I'm gonna be using her recipes. So there's a couple of different ways we can mix these up. Now in this cup here is the first one that I tried. This is the Satin Enamel and US Flow Troll cloud mixture. And I'll show you, just close my door. I'll show you what that looks like. So this is a piece that I did with the US Flow Troll and Satin Enamels mixture, and it turned out quite well. Um, so you can see there's really nice clouds in the middle. This is still drying, I only did this yesterday. So I'm quite happy with that. And then I did a variation on that using the same Satin Enamels and US Flow Troll cloud mixture, and I used Australian Flow Troll in three of my colors instead of US Flow Troll, and you can see I got lots of really interesting cells around the outside. So that's just swapping the US Flow Troll for Australian Flow Troll. Now, I wanna try another mixture of the Satin Enamels with Australian Flow Troll, so I'm gonna mix some of that up. And then I have two other mixtures here, and this is Vallejo Pearl Medium and Liquitex Iridescent Medium. Both are going to be for our cloud mixtures. So let me grab some cups and we're going to mix these up. Now the other thing I wanted to have a look at is I want to try and figure out the reason that the Satin Enamels works as a cloud mixture. And something that I had been thinking of for a little while is, you know, why does this work as a cloud mixture? And what can we get that's similar in Australia? Because we do have to import this and it can be quite expensive. So the thing that I thought of um, when some people were starting out with blooms is that they were using flat based house paint and it was eating all of their paints. So I have some ceiling paint here. This is British paints, flat ceiling paint. And I wanna see if this is going to make an effective cloud mixture. Um, I'm just trying this on a whim. I'm not basing this on anything, but I remember that the effect that people were saying was happening with their cloud mixtures is similar to the one that was happening with flat based house paint. So just going out on a hunch, I've got it here to test. So let's do it. Now I will be mixing my cloud mixes with US Flow Troll because I do have a little bit of that left over. Um, but I'll also do some tests with, ooh, yuck. That's gross. <laughs> um, that's really disgusting. Okay. So this may not go how I had planned. Um, clearly the inside of the tin has rusted. And I really like the American tins of paint because they have plastic interiors, ours are metal, and if you leave them too long, uh, they rust, which is a bummer. Now I have lots of goobers in my paint, which is gross. Okay, so you can see that even though this is a flat house paint, there are still components in there that need to be mixed in. So I am going to grab a stir stick and give this a mix. And we're just gonna try it and see if this will work as a cloud mixture. Because if it does, then that makes cloud pours far more accessible to Australians and people in New Zealand. Just giving this a really, really good stir. And this is really important when you are using house paint to give everything a really good stir. And to be honest, this looks pretty close to the consistency of the satin enamels. So I'm gonna cross my fingers for this one. Okay, the other thing I have is my American flow troll and I have a stocking over the cap so I can strain out the boogers. Um, and we're just gonna see what happens. Okay. So let's start off with the known recipes. So I already have my satin enamel cloud mix with US flow troll. So the first one I wanna try is satin enamel cloud mix with Australian flow troll. I have some here and I have some 
Amsterdam's paint. Um, now I did mix up 400 milliliters of the cloud mix last time. I'm not going to do that much. I'm only going to do 200 milliliters. So we'll try and fit it in these small cups. So let's put in, uh, what do I need to mix? That would be 50 milliliters of Amsterdam titanium white. Okay. Amsterdam titanium white. 50 milliliters of satin enamels. Oh, and I've nearly used up all of my satin enamel from this pot. Which is a shame that I come in bigger ones. And I'm going to mix that up first. Now, once these are mixed, I will let these sit for three to four days so that the bubbles disperse. Um, I'm really hoping that I can buy a pressure pot in the near future so I won't have to wait for this sort of stuff. But you know, wishful thinking. And up to 200 milliliters with the Australian Flow Troll. Okay, give it a good stir. So I did shake up my flow troll yesterday, um, but it's always a good idea to shake up the flow troll every single time you use it because it does settle quite quickly. Now, one mistake I've just made is that Australian flow troll is much thinner than American flow troll. So I've already stuffed up. Um, the two to one ratio works with the American flow, but the Australian flow, you need to take into account that it is thinner. So you need to add much less. So I'm going to check for consistency. Okay. It is quite thin. So when I'm doing these mixtures, I need to remember to go half on the Australian flow troll because what we're looking for is a two second trace with these paints. So one, two, let me switch to my other camera. Let's see if that's picking that up. Okay, my other camera seems to have moved. Just gonna bring this down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so we're going for a two second trace. That's the pattern that the paint makes on the surface when you drizzle it in. So one, two, one, two. Okay, so it's not too bad. Didn't stuff up as badly as I thought but I will need to keep that in mind. So sorry, I am trying to get manual focus on my other camera here. Okay. So that's paint number one. And I am going to label these as I go. So I don't forget what is what. Now this one was the easiest one to do because of the satin enamels and it uses Amsterdam titanium white. Now the other paints that Tiffany mixes up usually contain Artist Loft soft body white. So that's another thing that I don't have here. So I'm going to try a different brand, which I think may be similar. I have no idea because I've never actually used the Artist Loft Soft Body White. So I'm going to label this as AU Flow plus Satin Enamel. Cloud Mix. Okay, so let's set that aside. Next one I want to try is the house paint. So this is going to be really interesting. The house paint has a really nice thick consistency. Um, I'm going to grab a little measuring cup so I can do this from the tub. And I'm going to measure out. I'm only going to do a small batch of this one, so we're going to try it with 30 milliliters of flat-based house paint. 
Then I'm going to add to that stuff. Let's try the Amsterdam Titanium White. Well, I ended up with 50 mils of house paint. I'm only going to add hmm, twenty milliliters of titanium white, just to see where this takes us. Now, my house paint is uh, ceiling paint. It's actually a cream color, so it is not pure white. That shouldn't be a problem. And I'm going to mix this one with Australian Floetrol as well. So that is really quite thick. It's actually giving me a, almost like a peak if you pull that out. So the Australian Floetrol, let's add two. Just enough to get it to a two second consistency. So we had 70 mils total of paint in there. And I'm just gonna see how quickly this thins down to get it to the consistency that we need. So rather than going by exact ratios on this, I am going to go by feel. Okay, and that's pretty good. Um, now, I can't exactly tell how much is in there. Let's go this side. All right, so I only added 20 milliliters of Australian Floetrol to that, and I'm at the consistency that I need. So we're going to see if this works as a cloud mix. And I may do a test with this today, just to see. So this is with Australian Floetrol and house paint. And again, this is a flat, ceiling paint. So, AU Flow. Ceiling flat paint. Okay, we'll give that a go a bit later on. Next mixture I want to do, so let me just clean up my stir stick here. I'm gonna try not to get any of those disgusting rust marks in there. Sit that aside to dry and put this in my cleaning bucket. I may end up transferring this out of the current bucket that it's in and into a clean container of some form so I don't get those ugly rust marks. Okay, the next recipes, and I need more cups. I'm going to use the Liquitex iridescent medium and the Vallejo pearl medium. I'm going to do one with Australian flow, one with US flow. So let me just grab the correct mixtures up on my phone. And we're going to see what Tiffany uses. Here we go. Okay, so the first one is going to be Liquitex iridescent medium. So let's give this a good shake. Take the lid off because this is brand new. Oh, it's so sparkly and pretty. So my goal here is to try and figure out what makes the cloud pour mixture a good cloud pour mixture and what substitutes we can have. So there's 237 milliliters in here. So I'm gonna mix up two lots of 50 milliliters. Let's see if I can see the measurements I'm measuring to. Okay, of this one. And then I'm going to do the same of the Vallejo Pearl Medium. Hmm, interesting, okay. So I don't actually have, oh, this has got a really weird thing in the middle. Let me just check. So this one will be in 
the notes from Tiffany's class, not from her YouTube video, because those ones all use satin enamels. So I'm going to see where the class notes are. And her Vallejo mixture is one part of Vallejo Pearl Medium. So 50 milliliters again, I'm going to do. Okay. And I'm just trying to see what the difference is between these. So the Liquitex Iridescent Medium is much thicker. It is more viscous than the other one and it's clinging to the side so I, it's giving me wrong readings um, but yeah so 50 mils roughly of each of those then she uses in the Vallejo one part Artist Loft soft body white so to replace the Artist Loft soft body white I have some Montmartre acrylic um, I believe it's just cheap paint that she uses to fill this out for the cloud mix so this is an equivalent here, I guess. She did say that she likes the Artist Loft soft body because it's really nice and thick. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna get rid of that plug that was in here because it's absolutely disgusting and it's sort of melted away. That's gross. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure I'm not gonna get any chunks in there because there was a plug on the top of this, like a paper plug and it's completely dissolved. Now it's making chunkies on the top there. Okay, cool. So I want, oh, should have measured this out first because it's kind of glob, gonna glob in, isn't it? A little bit more in this one and I am trying to be as true to Tiffany's recipe as possible obviously trying to find products that I can get here and just trying out different recipes to see what works. Just tapping them gently to make that paint settle so I can get an accurate reading. And I mean, close enough is good enough because then we're just gonna fill the American Flow Troll until we get the uh, correct consistency. So I'm just gonna restart my camera up here. Alrighty, uh, let me have a look. I still need just a little bit more paint in each. These big bottles are super economical, but really difficult to get all the paint out of. Just the tiniest blob of melon. Okay. So first, let's mix up the Vallejo Pearl Medium. And again, I'm interested as to why the Pearl Mediums work the best. Or the Iridescent Mediums. And if it has anything to do with the fact that they're iridescent and they just give really nice looking clouds. Or if it is the fact that they have a property in them that causes those clouds to form. So the other thing I want to test is just Australian Floetrol and Amsterdam Titanium White. So I am just going to mix straight into this. So it turns out that the Liquitex is actually a bit runnier, like it's less viscous than the Pearl Medium, even though it holds its shape a lot better because when I started stirring this, it was much more, or much less resistant. Okay. So now we're going to add our flow troll. And to do that, I'm going to add just use another cup so I can add 100 mils of Australian flow troll to each actually I'm only going to add 50 mils Australian to start with and 
because again we're going to mix to consistency and we're going to do the ones on the left our Aussie flow cool and I'm just going to use the same cup to measure out the American flow troll I don't think it's going to matter that much if we have a tiny dollop of Australian flow troll in there And these ones, I'm going to do Tiffany's recipe and I'm going to do the full 100 milliliters. So 100 milliliters into this one. So by the way, Tiffany's recipe doesn't actually use milliliters. She goes by uh, ratio. Um, but because I'm measuring it out nice and evenly, trying to get it exact, I am measuring it with milliliters. There must be some goobers stuck to the underside of the um, stocking because it wouldn't let me squeeze any more of that flow troll out. Okay. So I don't get confused. I'm going to label the cups. This is Vallejo Oz. Vallejo, US. Whoops. No, this is Liquitex Oz. I already got confused. This one's Oz. Vallejo, oops, US Vallejo, and US Liquitex. Okay. Whew. Yes, okay, cool. So let's give this a mix. So this one is the Liquitex Gloss Medium. Sorry, Liquitex Iridescent Medium with the Montmartre White and US flow troll and that is super super thick so I'm going to add a little bit more US flow which I have in a bottle here and again I'm measuring for consistency to get to a two second trace on the top of the main mass of paint going to need a little bit more so this is where it gets tricky so you can follow a recipe to the T and it may not work for you just depending on altitude on temperature uh, how the paints fared in travel so if they've been shipped from the US they may behave differently because they've been subjected to different conditions in travel so that's something to take note of still super super gloopy I'm gonna Big squirt of flow troll. And if this remains super gloopy when I go to use it, I will add a dash of water. Actually, I may add a dash of water now. So water will just thin that out much quicker than the flow troll will. It's not going to hurt your paint because they all can be cleaned up with water. It's just going to help you get to your consistency quicker. And I'm happy with that. Okay, so there was something dangling from my stick there. Don't know what that was. All right, let's wipe this up. And I'm going to wrap and label this. Where's my text to go on? This one. US flow. 
Liquitex. Next one is Vallejo Pearl Medium with US Floetrol. This one is Tiffany's go-to mix now. And this is the one that we used in class. And we got some really stunning results. So if you saw my last cloud pour video, you will have seen the piece that I did in Tiffany's class and it was absolutely awesome to learn from her in person at Porcon. Porcon was such a success. All the attendees absolutely loved it. Of course, there were hiccups along the way, but we worked them out and no one knew any different. Um, so it was a really, really enjoyable experience and I would love to do it again. And this consistency is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, so I'm gonna sit that aside and label it correctly. This is US Vallejo. This one now is the Liquitex iridescent medium with Australian Floetrol. And remember, we only put half the amount of Australian Floetrol in. I only put 50 milliliters. And it already feels much looser than the US versions. But I do need a little bit more in here. I'm just going to add. And we're just going to see what sort of effects these give. So I do have some colors mixed up already. I will grab some tiles and do some little test runs with these. Once they've sat for a couple of days. And see what happens. I'm also going to mix up some colors the same. So they'll be uh, the color mixed with Australian Floetrol. Um, and we're just going to see what happens. I assume we're going to get plenty of cells because we're essentially making cell activators. Um, but with the consistencies being all of the same, it's going to be really interesting to see what happens. Just a tiny bit more flow troll, so maybe I did need 100 mils of each. It's very hard to judge though, so you always want to add less because you can add more, you can't take it out. And it's a lot easier to um, thin something down than it is to thicken it back up. And I think that's looking spot on. Liquitex Oz, and the last one is the Vallejo with the Australian Pearl Medium, uh, Australian Floetrol, sorry. So remember we added the Montmartre Titanium White in place of the Artist Loft. We've also got that ceiling paint mixed in, just going to see what happens. Oh, this is super, super thick, so I'm going to add... A bit more Australian flow troll to this. And I'm going to bet that this these mixtures with the flow troll is going to give us some really cool lacing, um, but the clouds are also going to be really, really puffy and transparent. I have a feeling, I'm hoping the feeling is correct, but we're not going to find out until we experiment, are we? Okay, nearly done. Perfection. Okay. Those are our paints mixed up. So let's label this one. Oh, 
Label it. Uh, Vallejo. Oslo. Okay. Cool. So, I'm going to recap all of my bottles. Get them off to the side, out of the way. And... Let's have a look at colours. So let me just rinse out the cup that had the Australian Floetrol in it. So I like to rinse and keep the Pixis measuring cups because they can be hard to get hold of. Alright, so I have some colours mixed up with US Floetrol and I'm going to mix up a couple with Australian Floetrol. So these are US, so I'll write US, 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 okay. And I'm going to mix up some with Australian Floetrol and see how we go. So uh, I want to do something completely different with those in terms of colour palette. So let's do a red cloud pour, I think. I don't see many of those. So let's do, let's go deep, deep red. Australian permanent, uh, Australian red violet. Now this technique does use a lot of paint compared to say a bloom. And we're going to do Matisse Deep Rose Matter. That's nearly half a tube in there. So these tubes have lasted me three years of doing blooms and I've only used half a tube all up. Blooms are very economical way to pour. Um, and then I think I want Pebio Iridescent Red Blue. Think that's going to look really really cool together so let's grab the aussie flow give it another shake all right and add this to our paints okay and i'm just going to mix these up actually I'm going to speed this process up and I'm going to use my piggy blender. This is so, so quick. Um, and these blenders from Fluid Art Co are a lot more powerful than the ones you can get from, say, Ikea. And they will make very short work of mixing up these paints. So once most of the paint is mixed in, I'll go in with my stir stick and check for consistency so I can add a little bit more flow troll to that one. Tiny bit more flow in here. Oh, actually, yeah, just a teeny amount. That's good. Let's check this one. That one is perfect. And this one. A little too thin okay so the first one's a little bit too thin and the other ones are perfect so uh, because that one's a little bit thin I'm going to add some gel medium and the gel medium I'm going to add is some what is this 
Chromacryl Impasto Gel. So all of these, all the gel mediums will dry clear, or should dry clear. So it doesn't matter which one you use, just pick one. And I'm just going to add a tiny amount. You don't need too much. I'm gonna drop that in, and I'll just use the blender to make this nice and quick, and make sure I don't have any lumps. So adding gel mediums can be tricky and leave you with lumpy paint. So it is always a good idea to blend them rather than stir them. So the other way you can avoid having the lumps in your paint is by adding your paint to the gel medium rather than the way that I'm doing it now. Um, but this is the way I'm doing it, so I'm just adding this. I could add more paint, um, but the gel medium is much cheaper when you buy it in bulk than it is to add the paint, especially because this was the Australian Red Violet and it's $36 a tube, so I don't want to be wasting that. The colour is so worth it. But yes, you don't want to be uh, spending so much money on this that you are, you're wasting it. That's now much thicker and a much better consistency, much closer to what we're working with for our cloud mixers. So I'm going to close all these lids if they want to close. And I'm going to write AU. And we're going to come back in a couple of days and do some cloud pours with these. So stay tuned. I'll let these sit. Come back in a couple of days. Uh, once all the bubbles have dissipated and we'll do a couple of cloud pours testing each combination of Australian flow troll, US flow troll um, and see what the cloud mixers do. Alright guys, be back shortly. <laughs> 